The terms international waters or trans-boundary waters apply where any of the following types of bodies of water or their drainage basins transcend international boundaries, oceans, large marine ecosystems, enclosed or semi-enclosed regional seas and estuaries, rivers, lakes, groundwater systems, aquifers, and wetlands. International waters have no sovereignty, ergo as terra nullius, as no state controls it. All states have the freedom of fishing, navigation, overflight, laying cables and pipelines, as well as research. Oceans, seas, and waters outside national jurisdiction are also referred to as the high seas or, in Latin, mare liberum meaning free sea. The Convention on the High Seas, signed in 1958, which has 63 signatories, defined high seas to mean all parts of the sea that are not included in the territorial sea or in the internal waters of a state, and where no state may validly purport to subject any part of them to its sovereignty. The Convention on the High Seas was used as a foundation for the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, signed in 1982, which recognized exclusive economic zones extending 200 nautical miles from the baseline, where coastal states have sovereign rights to the water column and sea floor as well as the natural resources found there. Ships sailing the high seas are generally under the jurisdiction of the flag state if there is one. However, when a ship is involved in certain criminal acts, such as piracy, any nation can exercise jurisdiction under the doctrine of universal jurisdiction. International waters can be contrasted with internal waters, territorial waters and exclusive economic zones. <laughs> <laughs> international waterways Several international treaties have established freedom of navigation on semi-enclosed seas. The Copenhagen Convention of 1857 opened access to the Baltic by abolishing the sound dues and making the Danish Straits an international waterway free to all commercial and military shipping. Several conventions have opened the Bosphorus and Dardanelles to shipping. The latest, the Montreux Convention regarding the regime of the Turkish Straits, maintains the Straits status as an international waterway. Other international treaties have opened up rivers, which are not traditionally international waterways. The Danube River is an international waterway so that landlocked Austria, Hungary, Moldova, Serbia, and Slovakia can have secure access to the Black Sea. <laughs> <laughs> Disputes over international waters Current unresolved disputes over whether particular waters are international waters include the Arctic Ocean, while Canada, Denmark, Russia and Norway all regard parts of the Arctic seas as national waters or internal waters, most European Union countries and the United States officially regard the whole region as international waters. The Northwest Passage through the Canadian Arctic Archipelago is one of the more prominent examples, with Canada claiming it as internal waters, while the United States and the European Union considers it an international strait. The Southern Ocean, Australia claims an exclusive economic zone EEZ around its Antarctic territorial claim. Since this claim is only recognized by four other countries, the EEZ claim is also disputed. Area around Okinodorishima, Japan claims Okinodorishima is an islet and thus they should have an EEZ around it, but some neighboring countries claim it is an atoll and thus should not have an EEZ. South China Sea, see territorial disputes in the South China Sea. Some countries one consider at least part of the South China Sea as international waters, but this viewpoint is not universal. Notably, China, which opposes any suggestion that coastal states could be obliged to share the resources of the exclusive economic zone with other powers that had historically fished there, claims historical rights to the resources of the exclusive economic zones of all other coastal states in the South China Sea. In addition to formal disputes, the government of Somalia exercises little control de facto over Somali territorial waters. Consequently, much piracy, illegal dumping of waste, and fishing without permit has occurred. Although water is often seen as a source of conflict, recent research suggests that water management can be a source for cooperation between countries. Such cooperation will benefit participating countries by being the catalyst for larger socio-economic development. For instance, the countries of the Senegal River Basin that cooperate through the organization Pour la Mise en Valère du Fleuve Senegal OMVS have achieved greater socio-economic development and overcome challenges relating to agriculture and other issues.
Topic: International Waters Agreements. Topic: Global Agreements. International Freshwater Treaties Database Freshwater Only. The Yearbook of International Cooperation on Environment and Development profiles agreements regarding the marine environment, marine living resources and freshwater resources. 1972 London Convention on the Prevention of Marine Pollution by Dumping of Wastes and Other Matter London Convention 1972. 1973 London International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, 1973 Marpole 1982 United Nations Convention on Law of the Sea United Nations Convention on Law of the Sea, United Nations, especially Parts 12-14. 1997 United Nations Convention on the Law of Non-Navigational Uses of International Watercourses CIW, not ratified. Transboundary Groundwater Treaty, Bellagio Draft, proposed, but not signed. Other global conventions and treaties with implications for international waters 1971 Ramsar Convention on Wetlands 1992 Convention on Biological Diversity Regional agreements At least ten conventions are included within the Regional Seas Program of UNEP, including The Atlantic Coast of West and Central Africa The Northeast Pacific Antigua Convention The Mediterranean Barcelona Convention The Wider Caribbean Cartagena Convention The Southeast Pacific The South Pacific Noumea Convention The East African Seaboard The Kuwait Region Kuwait Convention the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden Jeddah Convention. Addressing regional freshwater issues is the 1992 Helsinki Convention on the Protection and Use of Transboundary Watercourses and International Lakes UNECE, Helsinki Water Convention. <laughs> Water body-specific agreements Baltic Sea Helsinki Convention on the Protection of the Marine Environment of the Baltic Sea Area, 1992 Black Sea Bucharest Convention Caspian Sea Framework Convention for the Protection of the Marine Environment of the Caspian Sea Lake Tanganyika Convention for the Sustainable Management of Lake Tanganyika Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International Waters Institutions Freshwater institutions The UNESCO International Hydrological Programme The International Joint Commission between Canada and United States The International Network of Basin Organizations The International Shared Aquifer Resource Management Project the International Water Boundary Commission US section between Mexico and United States The International Water Management Institute IWMI The IUCN Water and Nature Initiative WANI Topic Marine Institutions The International Maritime Organization IMO The International Seabed Authority the International Whaling Commission The UNEP Regional Seas Program The UNESCO Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission IOC The International Ocean Institute The IUCN Global Marine and Polar Program GMPP Topic See also Baseline Birth aboard aircraft and ships Continental shelf Duty-free shop Exclusive economic zone Freedom of the seas Hugo Grotius Internal waters Ocean colonization Territorial waters Notes
Carat including Japan, India, the United States, an arbitral tribunal constituted under Annex 7 to the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, and the People's Republic of China, which opposed any suggestion that coastal states could be obliged to share the resources of the exclusive economic zone with other powers that had historically fished in those waters during the Third Conference of the United Nations on the Law of the Seas. <laughs> 